Hi friends, welcome back to my new lecture. Today we are going to discuss a problem on steady flow energy equation. Already we have derived steady flow energy equation. So before going to this particular problem, I request you all to go through the video of derivation of steady flow energy equation and application of steady flow energy equation. Where in that particular lecture I have derived the steady flow energy equation and we have discussed various applications like boiler, turbine, compressor, diffuser, throttle wall etc. In this particular problem we are going to use a knowledge what we have gained in the previous lecture. Means we are going to solve a problem on the various applications of steady flow energy equation. Okay, let's start with the first problem. Let's understand the problem first of all before solving it. In SC SFP steady flow process SFP means a steady flow process 405 kilowatt of work is done by machine now this word is very important from this we can understand that whether machine is generating work or machine is taking work it's done by machine done by machine means what machine is generating work means what machine is giving output work here okay let me draw let me draw one symbolic representation of machine so I don't know whether it is compressor, turbine or boiler but I will draw a simple machine, simple system as like this where I can show that, where I can show that this is the inlet pipeline, this is the inlet pipeline ok so I will write here as the inlet and from this, this is outlet pipeline ok this is outlet pipeline right so here we are having inlet and outlet as like this at the same time from this I can take work output also to work output let's write or let's represent over here that work output we are getting from a shaft so let's consider one shaft is there and that's the work is given so here the work is done by the system and that work is given to you 405 kilowatt work is done that's why it will be positive if work is consumed then it will become negative okay so let's consider this is machine this is machine which we are discussing in the problem okay the specific volume fluid pressure and velocity at inlet are 0.37 meter cube 0.37 meter cube per kg i repeat the specific volume fluid pressure and velocity at inlet are 0.37 meter cube per kg 6 bar and 16 meter per second so what is this this is 0.37 meter cube per kg is the specific volume the specific volume 6 bar is the velocity at inlet and 0.37 meter cube per kg is the velocity now let's represent at inlet i am showing as one at outlet we are doing we are showing as a so inlet and outlet data we are showing they have given inlet specific volume so specific volume we are denoting as Vs1 fluid pressure at inlet that we are denoted by P1 and velocity at inlet is denoted by V1 so these three data is given Vs1 is given to you is how much 0.37 meter cube per kg so 0.37 meter cube per kg then pressure is a 6 bar we know that the pressure always we take in kilopascal so 6 bar into 10 raised to 2 it will become 600 kilopascal right then the velocity is given to you 16 meter per second so these are inlet data these are inlet data given to you right now let's read further the values at discharge so outlet values 0 0.62 1 bar and 270 similar values that specific volume at outlet pressure at outlet and velocity at outlet is given to you specific volume if you check in the problem the specific volume is given to you 0 0.62 pressure is 1 bar and 270 meter per second is the velocity so specific volume is 0 0.62 meter cube per kg okay then pressure is 1 bar converting into kilopascal 1 into 10 raised to 2 so it will become 100 kilopascal and then velocity v1 velocity v1 is what 270 meter per second so these are data these are data at inlet that's why we have written suffix as one this is data at outlet so that's why suffix 2 we have written it okay 
डिस्चार्ज इज थर्टी टू मीटर बिलो द इनलेट सेक्शन वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड मीनिंग ऑफ दिस डिस्चार्ज इज थर्टी टू मीटर बिलो द इनलेट सेक्शन वेर इज डिस्चार्ज सेक्शन दिस इज डिस्चार्ज सेक्शन और आउटलेट सेक्शन एंड दिस इज इनलेट सेक्शन सो इफ आई शो दिस इज द इनलेट सेक्शन सेंटर लाइन इफ आई शो दिस इज एक्जिट सेंटर सेंटर लाइन वॉट दे आर टोल्ड इज डिस्चार्ज इज थर्टी टू मीटर बिलो द इनलेट सेक्शन सो दिस इज डिस्चार्ज सेक्शन इज अ थर्टी टू मीटर बिलो द इनलेट मीन्स फ्रॉम इनलेट इफ आई मेजर दिस डिस्टन्स दैट डिस्टन्स इज हाउ मच थर्टी टू मीटर सो इफ आई शो दिस पर्टिकुलर डिस्टन्स दिस डिस्टन्स कैन बी शोन एज वॉट हाउ मच थर्टी टू मीटर थर्टी टू मीटर वॉट इज मीन बाय दिस हियर जनरली द डेटम हाइट एट इनलेट वी डिनोट बाय जेड वन डाटम हाइट एट आउटलेट वी डिनोट बाय जेड टू सो आई कैन राइट हियर I can write here difference between these two at inlet and outlet. Difference between these two is what thirty two meter. Difference between these two is what thirty two meter. So I can write z two minus z one is equal to thirty two meter. Okay. Now <coughs> with this, what they ask? Let's see. The total heat lost. The total heat lost between inlet and outlet is nine kilojoule. per kg so per kg whenever the value is per kg that's a small notation we are using per kg is a small q per second is capital q that you should know and it is heat lost heat loss means going outside heat going outside is negative always heat going outside is negative and that is given to you 9 kJ per kg why negative negative because heat lost heat lost means what heat is going outside from the machine okay next mass flow rate of fluid is given 3 kg per second so mass flow rate of fluid is 3 kg per second that's what you find change in internal energy what we have to find out what we have to find out is change in internal energy change in internal energy that we denote by delta u so with this given data there is a big problem given with this given data we have to find out delta u so you have to understand a problem very carefully if you understood problem in well manner then the solving problem it will be become a quite easier let's solve this particular problem i want to determine delta u i want to determine delta u so when we will solve this particular problem let's consider first of all what is mean by u or how we can determine the formula by which we can determine u we know that we know that enthalpy we know the enthalpy formula h is equal to u plus pv that's a standard formula that is what a standard formula that u plus pv that is what u plus pv okay enthalpy is equal to u plus pv u is internal energy p is pressure v is the volume v is the volume that is the standard formula so if i write delta h if i write delta h then it will become delta u plus delta pv so change in enthalpy is nothing but change in internal energy plus change in change in pressure and volume change in pressure and volume so if i want specific enthalpy that is small h specific enthalpy that is what a small h capital h is what capital h is enthalpy and small h is what specific enthalpy what's meant by specific enthalpy specific enthalpy is per unit mass per unit mass so this can be written as what small delta u plus plus delta p into small v that is specific volume p into small v that is specific volume okay so pressure that cannot be a specific pressure property the volume can be a specific volume but pressure cannot be pressure specific pressure okay so let's simplify this delta h is equal to delta u plus delta u plus change in pressure that i can write as Like this, P two V S two minus P one V S one. What we have done? A final pressure into specific volume minus initial pressure into specific volume. So now we have got this particular equation. Okay, from from this I can determine delta U, but I should know all other term. I should know all other term. So let's consider S F E E steady flow energy equation that already we have derived. The steady flow energy equation what we have derived is Q. Minus W is equal to delta H plus V two square minus V one square divided by two thousand 
प्लस जी जेड टू माइनस जेड वन डिवाइड बाय वन था दैट इज द इक्वेशन वी आर डिराइव एंड द यूनिट ऑफ दिस इक्वेशन इज किलोजुल पर के जी ऑल क्वांटिटीज आर इन किलोजुल पर के जी नाउ वी आर नोइंग दैट डेल्टा एच इज व्हाट सो दिस डेल्टा एच वैल्यू लेट्स पुट ओवर हियर आफ्टर पुटिंग व्हाट विल गेट एन इक्वेशन द इक्वेशन विल बिकम क्यू माइनस डब्ल्यू इज इक्वल टू राधर एन डेल्टा एच आई विल पुट दिस वन सो डेल्टा यू प्लस पी टू वी एस टू माइनस पी वन वी एस वन प्लस वी टू स्क्वेर माइनस वी वन स्क्वेर डिवाइड बाय टू थाउजेंड प्लस जी जेड टू माइनस जेड वन डिवाइड बाय वन थाउजेंड ओके दैट्स व्हाट दी इक्वेशन व्हाट वी हैव डन राधर एन डेल्टा एच वी हैव रिटर्न दिस टू दिस From this, what I want to determine from this, I want to determine delta u. I want to determine delta. U. Actually, I want capital delta u. But I will get it first of all small delta u, and then I will convert into capital delta u. Okay. So I want to determine delta u, and for that purpose, I should know all the term. I should know all the term given in the problem. Let's check one by one. Let's check one by one. Whether q is given. Whether q is given. So if you check and given data, this is given data. In the given data, Q is given. That's minus nine kilojoule per kg. So this term is given. What about this W? What about this W? Whether W is given or not, that we have to check. Let me check that whether W is given. The W. The W is also given. Where the W is given? So you can see here that in SFP, four zero five kilowatt of work is done by machine. So this. Is a capital W. Why it is capital W? Because unit is given kilowatt, so it is four zero five kilowatt. What's mean by kilowatt? The four zero five kilojoule per second. We cannot say this is small W because of the unit. So if unit is kilojoule per second, that's a capital W, and if unit is kilojoule per kg, then that will be small W. Okay. But here in the equation, in the equation, what we want? We want small W. So we can convert this capital W. Into small w. How we can convert capital W into small w? That we know that small w, small w is nothing but capital W by m. What is capital W is given to you? Capital W is given to you four zero five divided by mass flow rate. Mass flow rate is given to you three kg per second. So divided by three. So you can do the calculation for this. And after doing calculation, the small w you will get as one thirty five. So you will get 135 unit will be kilojoule per kg. You can check the calculation by your own because sometimes there may be some mistake. So you have to check your own calculations. Okay. Then after that, after that, now we are knowing W delta U is I want to determine P2 whether P2 is given. Let's check P2 and this is Vs2. P2 and Vs2 is given so that we can put over here P1 Vs1. Whether P1 Vs1 is given, P1 Vs1 is also given. So this, 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 this is known. V1 V2. Whether it is known, let's check. V1 is given 16 meter per second. V2 is also given 270 meter per second. So these two are known. G is 9.81. Z2 minus Z1. The Z2 minus Z1 is already given 32 meter. Z2 minus Z1 is given 32 meter. So now all the terms are known except delta U. So put up all the values and let's determine. Let's determine the what delta U. What is the Q? Q is given in the problem, and that's what minus nine, minus nine, minus W. That we have determined one thirty five is equal to that here minus nine minus one thirty five is equal to uh, here delta U. I want to determine that will keep as it is plus plus P two Vs two. What is P two? P two is given in the problem, so hundred into Vs2. What is Vs2? 0.62 minus P1. P1 is a 600 into into Vs1. Vs1 is 0.37. So we have kept value of P2 Vs2. P1 Vs1 plus. I'll write on downside. I'll write on downside plus V2 V1. What is V2? V2 is 270 square minus V1. V1 is what? 16. Square divided by divided by two thousand two thousand 
प्लस जी इज वॉट नाइन पॉइंट एट वन इन टू जेड टू माइनस जेड वन जेड टू माइनस जेड वन इज गिवन टू थर्टी टू मीटर ओके डिवाइड बाय वन थाउजेंड ओके दैट्स वैल्यू ओनली अन नोन इज वॉट डेल्टा यू सो यू कैन डू युअर ओन कैलकुलेशन एंड यू कैन डिटरमाइन डेल्टा यू यू हैव टू बी केयरफुल वेन वी आर डिटरमाइन the calculation so delta u you will get answer as a minus 20.008 kilo joule per kg that's what we have got delta u in the unit of what kilo joule per kg but if i want capital delta u but if i want capital delta u so how we can determine capital delta u capital delta u can be determined by using a formula as small delta u must be equal to capital delta u by n because small delta u is what small delta u is specific quantity so small delta u is capital delta u by m so what is capital delta u the so capital delta u will become delta u into m we are knowing delta u we are knowing m what is delta u delta u is minus 20.008 into mass flow rate mass flow rate given in the problem is 3 okay so With this, you can do your calculation. That simple multiplication is there. With doing some simple multi multiplication, you will get a capital delta U as minus sixty minus sixty point zero two four kg uh, kilo joule per second. Now the unit will be for capital. It will be kilo joule per second. For small U, it will be kilo joule per kg. Okay so that's what the unknown required for the problem thank you very much